is with it. Lorraine just asked me to make a pie that looks like it. So here we go. <laughs> I did get the pie recipe, well, pie filling recipe from the internet, but I'm going to be using my World of Warcraft book for my pie dough. For the pie dough crust, we have two sticks of butter because I have to make two things, a pie crust, one for the bottom layer, one for the top. I've got my flour, and as always, I have my beer. And today, since we are doing Kraken theme, oh no, I spilled! No! As I was saying before I spilled the beer, I have my Coney Island Mermaid Pilsner because since we're doing a Kraken pie, we should be drinking things from the sea. <laughs> which is my favorite part of making pie dough. I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> Technically, the recipe for what I'm making, since I'm doubling it, is supposed to be one half. Oop, I forgot to put flour on my hands first! Ah, that is always important to put flour on your hands first or it gets all kinky! Reusable bowl cover. Time to use the reusable dough cover. Yeah! And let it chill for an hour. Into the fridge it goes. I get to use the big saucepan. <laughs> now onto the pie filling. So I got this recipe from Taste of Home on the internet. I'm switching it just a little bit because I couldn't find really good fresh blueberries at the store, so I got some blackberries. Um, got my sugar, cornstarch, and cinnamon. Now it doesn't call for vanilla sugar, but I like to improvise a little bit, so I'm gonna use some. And this is gonna create kind of the liquidy part of the filling before I add in all the other berries. I find it's always good to test the berries before using them. I am a hot, sweaty mess now. I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit before I add all the other berries. So now I think I'm gonna do some No, I'm not joking, not dead. And now it's time for another beer, which we're gonna stick with Coney Island and do Snow Coney, which is one of my favorite beers at Coney Island Brewery. My beer got too foamy. <laughs> now. 
fill a pie. I have some extra ones left if I need them. The raspberries are particularly yummy, so I don't know if I'll make that. Make it if I need more. Okay, this dough is ready for you. I almost forgot to add my lime juice. I do lime instead of lemon. Rolled out the next thing of dough. I think I'm gonna do, looks like a big circle, is shaped to try and do the head. And I think I'm gonna stuff, I don't think, I'm gonna do, I'm going to stuff the head of strawberries so then the dough will actually cook. So if it's just all dough, it's just gonna be doughy inside and then just for show. And the whole point of this is to be able to eat it, right? Smoke his head full of strawberries. I add a little honey and flavor to that. Just, uh, you know, it's just gonna cook strawberries on it. Something else, let me see. Aha, honey. Oh, nice. Little drizzle. You will talk to us. Okay, I'm gonna make these nice little things. Heavy head. Head, head. Making a hand, making a hand for a pie. Yeah, okay. Sure, that's a head. Right? Let's see. I feel like it should close. <laughs> oh no! His head's exploding, he needs brain surgery. Okay. Oh, it's not quite a head. Let's see if we can. Oh, there we go. That's kind of. Ooh, I like it. That's head ish. That's head ish. Okay, now for the eyes, he can be a little cranky, right? He's a monster. Okay, so we got, oh gosh. All right, let's pick out one of these things. Okay, so like, they did it. It looks like they made little doughy eyes. Little dough eyes. Um, use my butter knife. Trying to make clean lines. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's an eyeball. Here, it's kind of like a point. There we go. Get his other eyeball going. <laughs> that's gonna fall. He needs eye surgery. Here, I'll move him over. Oh. <laughs> it's not gonna stay. I got it quickly. No! Oh, actually, this would be perfect. Here. Alright. It doesn't want to stay like the other one. I don't know, do Krakens have one eye or two eyes? I'm gonna assume they have two. I'm gonna say they have two. I'm gonna make them have two. There we go. Aw, he's looking so cute. Here, let's steal some from the end. Okay. Oh, he's got little eyeballs. Little eyeballs! Now the picture I have shows he has little tentacles coming out of his mouth, so I guess we'll try and like <gasps> we'll pinch him with his little brain. Alright, so we're gonna maybe cut that one. In. Yeah. So there we go. He's back. Tentacles. Tentacle mouth. I gotta reference the picture again to see if I need to put the tentacles on first, like his little army arms. If I put the head on first. I checked that, so tentacles first, then this. Alright, but head is done. I feel like he needs a little more. Maybe here. Looks like we could probably yeah, we could cut that one. Give him some more mouth a doodles. Yeah, that's a word, mouth. A doodles. Okay, let's uh curiously move his head over here. <laughs> Now I will attempt to put the head on. Okay, come on, 
Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. There you go, little buddy. He's my little buddy now. Oh. Uh, I think that case, that one needs to be uncurled. No, I feel like he needs more tentacles, right? He seems a little, like he's very top heavy. One of my eyeballs just fell apart. No. I think his eyeball needs more structural integrity. We'll try this. His eyeball is too big for his own good. Let's see if that holds him in. I'm gonna add these other two tentacles. I guess he's a really good kraken because he killed everyone. So then the ocean's full of blood. Maybe he's just on his period. Here he is. <laughs> I think this is all the better he's getting. <laughs> I don't know if cooking him will make him look any nicer, but this is my A for effort try. I would have stuck him right in the oven right away, but it's been so hot. As you can see from my face, my hair has gone totally askew. I'm glistening. So I just looked it up because I was curious. It is 85% humidity today in Coney Island. <sighs> this is probably the worst time to bake a pie. <laughs> Since I have so much leftover dough, something I like to do is make like little uh, dough snacks. <laughs> I don't know if there's an exact term, but I remember my mom used to make them when I was a kid too. Since I have so much leftover pie, pie crust, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, this one's gonna be neat to cut in half. And all you do is you essentially roll it out, put it on a pan, and then I'm gonna cover it with butter and sugar. <laughs> because you can't go wrong with butter and sugar. into the oven for about 10 minutes and as you saw I decided spur of the moment to add a little lavender because why not tip though I have found with using lavender a little goes a really 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 long way so use sparingly I may have even used too much there Than he did raw. The pie is a little runny though, I have to say. Yeah. I'm hoping as it cools that will solidify. If not, it tastes wonderful. And then there are my little extra shards, which I'm gonna eat a few while this puppy cools. I feel he needs a name. <laughs> Comment what you think his name should be. No, no pie is complete without whipped cream. Whipped cream. I'm out of regular vanilla, so I guess the vanilla sugar will just have to do. That makes me a teeny bit nervous. It's always important to test whipped cream as well as berries. That's good. I 
had some dinner, and my pie cooled. But I've had hit or miss with berry pie all the time, so it was a little soupy. It did harden a little bit more than what it was at the beginning, but as you can see, it's still pretty soupy. It's a cobbler instead. It's a cracking cobbler. Let's see how it tastes, though. tastes excellent. Mm. And make sure to tune in next week, Risa's request of a Bob's Burger of the day.